This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy. To help start your business, GoDaddy is offering websites, marketing tools, and guidance all for free. Learn more at GoDaddy.com. This episode is brought to you by Salesforce Quip. With Salesforce Quip, businesses can get back to growth faster and stay productive, collaborative, and connected. Learn more at Quip.com. From Gimlet, this is Reply All. I'm Emmanuel Jochi. So last Monday, after two weeks of protests over the killing of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Tony McDade, and so, so many other black people, I ended up in a conversation with a black woman who told me about a very weird situation she found herself in. If you don't want to go by your real name, we can change your name. Yeah, I don't, because the only reason is I feel I feel really sorry for this girl. <laughs> like how I feel and my understanding of it is not what she feels. Feels and I'm almost just like, oh, poor baby. But I don't want her to be embarrassed. Yeah. But I feel like if she ever hears this, she's gonna know this is her because. So, anyways, yeah, (laughs) because of how it was, how I responded to her. This is Maya, and as you just heard, Maya is not actually her real name. She's a photographer, lives in LA. Maya told me that shortly after a recent protest, one of her colleagues posted to Twitter in support of Black women photographers. It was a post to editors and a post to just people in general. That was kind of saying hire black women right now to because, you know, it directly affects them and they're covering these issues that are happening. And so she did this list, which was just incredible, highlighting black women photographers and, um, you know, just created a lot of traction for a lot of us. And so I just saw a lot of activity on my social media and just, you know, people sharing my photos and, you know, just leaving me comments. At some point, Maya got a message from a white woman who was like, I'd love to support your work. Just let me know how and let me know what your Venmo is. I said, here's my website. Please let me know if you what print you'd like to buy. You know, we can work that out. If not, maybe I can compile some images from this protest that will be more meaningful. And then we can just figure out something from there. This is my Venmo. And then shortly after she sent that message, Maya looked at her phone and saw something confusing. A Venmo payment from this woman along with a message saying that she was traveling and would reach out about getting a print when she got back. And so I was like, hmm, well, that's not really what I meant. Um, And also it was really low as well, like, because she said, let's talk about a print. So I'm not sure if she thought that was the price of a print. Maybe she did. um, Or if that was just money that she was just gifting. I I don't know what it was. Yeah. But I just know it was interesting because we hadn't talked about... um, any exchange in terms of the pricing. Maya went back and forth about whether she wanted to tell me the exact dollar amount of a donation. She was worried that the amount could be a giveaway to the person's identity. But eventually, she told me. It was bucks. It was Yeah, bucks. it was bucks. Whoa. If it was a charity donation to me, that's mad insulting. If that was for a print, really 